All right, so are you ready for this one? We're going to do a deep dive into defying gravity, or at least a YouTube video wants us to believe that it's possible. Oh, yeah. It's from the channel Topper Guild. It's called, We Attempted the Impossible with that Shocked Face Emoji. Uh-huh. And it has some pretty mind-blowing feats in it. Okay. Like monks that look like they're levitating, and even a police officer that looks like he's stuck in midair. Really? So the question is, are they actually defying gravity as we understand it, or is something else going on? Right. I mean, what did you think when you watched the video? Well, you know, it was really captivating, but um, the thing that I thought was really interesting was just the way that they mix humor with these really extraordinary claims, you know? Yeah. Like, there's this bit where they have, like, a cracked stick, you know, just for comedic effect, right. and then, bam, someone looks like they're floating. Yeah. So it really makes you wonder, you know, if that lighthearted tone kind of makes us more likely to believe the impossible. You know what? That's a good point. It's like they're trying to disarm us with laughter. Right? Yeah. And then they just hit us with these wild visuals. Yeah. And in the video, they mention all these different techniques like special breathing exercises and intense mental concentration. Right. I, I mean, could that really be a factor or are we just getting into like pure speculation here? Well, I mean, let's just think about what gravity is for a second. You know, it's not just like this simple downward force. Right. The yeah. strength of gravity really depends on the mass of the objects and the distance between them. Yeah. So like the bigger the mass, the stronger the pull and the closer the objects are, the stronger the attraction is going to be. Okay. So for someone to actually defy gravity, they would have to somehow manipulate those factors. Right. So you're saying like manipulating gravity itself. Right. Seems pretty far-fetched. Pretty far-fetched, yeah. What about other explanations, though? Yeah. I mean, the video definitely has that magic show kind of vibe to it, right? So could these just be illusions that are playing tricks on our perception? Absolutely. Illusions are super powerful, especially when you combine them with, like, the visual medium of video. Right. You know, think about, like, forced perspective. Yeah. Where they use camera angles to make objects seem like they're larger or smaller than they actually are right or like clever editing that cuts out certain moments or uses visual effects to make it look like someone's levitating yeah that makes sense it's like those classic magic tricks you know where they saw a person <laughs> in half yeah and you know there's a trick to it but it's still kind of like messes with your mind when you see it happening right so is there like a scientific explanation for why our brains are so easily fooled by this stuff well our brains are constantly trying to you know, make sense of the world around us. Right. So they rely on patterns and assumptions to like quickly interpret information. Okay. And illusions exploit those shortcuts. You know, they present information that contradicts our expectations. So we see what we expect to see, not necessarily what's really there. Wow. So it's not really that these videos are breaking the laws of physics. Right. They're more like playing with the laws of perception. Exactly. I mean, this really highlights how important critical thinking is. For sure. We can't just like accept these extraordinary claims at face value, right? Yeah, yeah. We really have to dig a little deeper, question what we're seeing, and consider other explanations. Absolutely. It's not about being closed-minded or anything. Right. But it's more about approaching things with like a healthy dose of skepticism. Right. Just because we can't explain something right away doesn't automatically mean it's supernatural. Right. There's often, you know, a perfectly normal explanation just waiting to be uncovered. Yeah. Maybe it's a scientific principle that we don't quite understand yet. Yeah. Or maybe it's just a clever trick someone's using to fool us. This reminds me of that famous Carl Sagan quote. Oh, yeah. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. It's a good reminder to keep our minds open, but also demand strong evidence mm. before we just accept something that seems to defy you know, everything we know about the world. Right. And even if we do uncover a rational explanation, you know, there's still something kind of magical about seeing these things. Oh, yeah, for sure. It speaks to that human desire to push boundaries, explore the unknown and challenge our own perceptions. You know what it's like? Even though we might not be literally defying gravity, like the human body and the human mind are capable of some pretty incredible things. Oh, yeah. And who knows? Maybe someday... We will unlock secrets that allow us to, you know, manipulate gravity or achieve things that just seem impossible right now. That's a really cool thought to leave our listeners with. Right. What other seemingly impossible phenomenon might have a scientific or psychological explanation just waiting to be discovered? I love it. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and never lose that sense of wonder. That's it for this deep dive. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks, everyone. I